Hey guys and welcome back to the AC Milan career mode. We are about to wrap up the transfer window in the summer and we have made two signings. Two big signings. Memphis Depay, as you can see right there, is currently being trained. And he uh, he came in after Niang's injury, which was kind of unfortunate. I'm looking forward to see how good Memphis can be. He hasn't really fulfilled his potential in the first game. He got an assist, but I expect a little bit more. We've got Napoli away from home as our main test, our toughest test of today's episode. And with Udinese and Sampdoria after that, you know, we don't really have an easy run of games coming up. But after that, we've got Lazio and Fiorentina. So a relatively tough month of September with Napoli being the main course, so to speak. They've won their first game just like us. It's time to prove to them that we, like against Juve, are not here to take part. We're here to take over. For the game against Napoli, we're rocking up with the 4-3-3 as per usual. Donnarumma in net, Decilio, Romagnoli, Gomez and Abate in the back four. Kuchka, Bonaventura and Sosa in the midfield three. And Memphis Depay with Carlos Baca and Suso in the front line. Let's take a look at Napoli's lineup and see who can come away with three points and have an excellent start to this season. Napoli challenged Juventus last season for the title. We've already taken on Juve, we know what they're like. We had to go the full distance in uh, the Super Cup final. This time it's a league game though. Will we settle for a draw away from home? I'm not sure. Let's take a look at their lineup. There he is, Memphis. He's looking ready for this game. I can see it in his eyes. And here we go, Napoli playing with Jose Reina as the captain in net, of course. Probably playing the 4-3-3, I could be wrong. No, it's a 4-3-3 with Gulam, Koulibaly, Maximovic and Hisaj, or Hisaj, whatever that is, in defence. A very strong defence, especially with Maximovic coming in from Torino. They really strengthened their back line, so it's a complete team and it's going to be a good test. Well done by Sosa. Now through to Suso. Suso has been very good in real life. Can he repeat that on this game? A lovely turn inside by Suso. Now through to Bonaventura and it's 1-0 Milan. Three minutes into the game. Giacomo Bonaventura opens the score and Milan have taken a shock lead here at Napoli. We didn't expect to get off the mark this fast, but Suso with some brilliant work. The finish, the finish just as good. His first of the season and off the mark we are. Insigne ruining us a little bit with that pace. Very solid from Insigne. Insigne has been brought down and the referee has decided not to give a penalty. That's not necessary because we just gave away a goal. No, wait, they hit the post. Okay, calm down, settle, boys. Into Sosa. Sosa back into Baca. Carlos Baca through on goal here. Carlos Baca against Reina, and Reina makes a really good save. It could have been 2 0. It could have been 1 1, to be fair, as well. Through to uh, Gabbiadini with a shot. Good effort from Napoli. Diawara. Diawara going through, and it's a lovely challenge, but it still drops to Napoli, and they've equalized. I think it's Gabbiadini who got the goal past Donnarumma. And that's very unfortunate because we did everything we could defensively. Diawara had, was given too much space. He was going to shoot here, I got the tackle in. But Abate just was not aware of the situation and Gabbiadini nicks it off him and fires it home. We've got an injury. Oh, when are these injuries going to stop? Genuinely, we've lost Niang and now we're going to lose Bonaventura, one of our best players so far. This is horrible, and it better not be for six months. Kaisuke Honda comes on as the substitute. But you know what, just for good fucking measure, sit down. We started off the game really well with an early goal from Bonaventura, but our goal scorer has gone off injured, and Napoli have taken over since that moment, scored the equaliser that they probably deserve. In the second half, we're looking to, uh, to find new ways to break them down, because without Bonaventura, it's going to be a, a lot harder. Suso. Through to Sosa, well played, Sosa against Koulibaly, gets past him, Sosa still going, Carlos Baca had to make that run, he didn't want to do it, and therefore Sosa had to force off a weak shot, Carlos Baca step it up, Milan really can't get anything going in this second half, a couple of players have been underperforming and have been very poor, including this Ignacio Abate, can he make up for it though, to find Sosa, it's a good save by Jose Reina. Sosa looking for that back post. It's our technique and it works. It's Kuchka! 2-1 Milan! They've retaken the lead and it is Juraj Kuchka who opens, the, well not opens the score but retakes the lead for Milan. It's Reina who gets a hand to it. Would that have gone across the goal if it wasn't for Reina? I think it is because that's why the game has counted it as an own goal from Jose Reina. Unfortunate for Kuchka but it goes down as a Reina own goal. Well done though. Good corner set piece. Sometimes that's exactly what you need to win a game like this. Milik. Milik breaks through. Milik. Great save by Gianluigi Donnarumma. Oh no. Chance here and it's a save by Donnarumma again. 
Donnarumma with a third consecutive save. Napoli are really pushing for this one and it's only a matter of time before they're going to get the equaliser if we keep playing like this. Honda kicks it straight at Koulibaly who fires a shot and Donnarumma again keeping Milan in the lead. Oh no, El Kadori breaking through. El Kadori, he's just ran through everyone and Donnarumma makes another save and it's not meant to be. We concede in the 90th minute after some shocking defending again. He just ran through and nobody came close to him. I don't, what, what, what is Abate doing on the line as well? Seriously, man, you've been poor. That was the moment to save the game for Ignazio Abate and he just, he just messed up, pissed off. Looking at the match facts, I mean, Napoli did deserve to get a point out of this one. I'm not going to dispute that, but it was unfortunate that we lost Bonaventura with uh, with an injury. It could have been different. Donnarumma, in the end, made nine saves and he kept us in it. I don't know how Abate got a 7.5 because I thought he was shocking. The only other man I could see get man of the match is Kuchka, who did really well. But it's got to be Gianluigi Donnarumma. 7.4 added to his man of the match total. Praise the Lord, the God, and whatever is holy up there, because Bonaventura is only out for eight days. That's a little bit better than those six months from Niang. And because Bonaventura is not out for too long, I don't need to sign a backup midfielder. These are the biggest deals so far. Ozil to Bayern Munich, as well as Pastore and Lukaku to Manchester United of all teams. I'm going to skip transfer deadline day to make sure that the computer, the AI, doesn't make too many signings of transfer deadline day and makes the career mode completely unrealistic. And that's what I always like to do to keep it semi-decent, you know. Uh, we've got a squad monthly update. We might as well show you it before we head into the next game. Why not? We've got a few good players in here that could potentially make it far, especially these two. Alessandro Branco, he looks incredible, doesn't he? 94 potential. Fantastic stuff. Despite the disappointing results, 2-2 away from Napoli is probably something I would have signed for. So for the game against Udinese, I'm not changing my lineup. There's a few players I'm looking at that need to impress me. Ignazio Abate, for example, he's got Davide Calabria breathing down his neck. If he doesn't perform well this game, Calabria is going to get the start for the next one. But right now, we're keeping the same back forward. The midfield three of Bonaventura, Kuchka and Sosa as well. Bonaventura back from injury. The Pai, Baca and Suso up front. We're playing at the San Siro today. Milan Udinese, we're expecting the full three points from this one. Oh no, what a chance! And it's saved by Donnarumma! And it's... Oh, how is he missed? How is Cyril Thirio, the French striker, missed from that angle, that close range, with Donnarumma already beat? I'll never know. Going again for the back post corner technique with Jose Sosa whipping it in. It's Memphis Depay who goes for the diving header. A spectacular effort from Memphis. He's still looking for that goal. Abate with the interception. And now Milan are looking to try and break through, but... Udinese are set up so, so strong at the back. It's really high, hard to find some space, but now we have found space with Memphis Depay, who cuts inside. He's still going. Memphis Depay. Oh, referee, there has to be a penalty, and it has been given. Milan have the opportun opportunity. Well, if that's even a saying in English, but uh, I don't care about how I'm stumbling over my words. The fact of the matter is we've been given a penalty. No other man for the job other than Carlos Bacca. Can he put this away past Carnesis? Carlos Baca, he scores. It's 1-0 AC Milan. They've taken the lead in the first half against Udinese. It hasn't been a good game for us so far, but we get that breakthrough, that desperate goal that we're looking for, and hopefully we can bang in a few more in that second half. Three games into the season, this is only Carlos Baca's first goal. Kuchka. Oh, look at that run. Carlos Baca, take a touch, bang it across. Oh, what a save by Carnesis. The same change as in previous game. Kaisuke Honda is coming on, this time not for Bonaventura, but for Jose Sosa. Well played by Udinese. Badu is in behind. I tried to slide to block off the shot, but it didn't come in. The cross came in, though, and it's just over by Lodi. Isilio. Now through to Memphis. Memphis with space. Badu is chasing. Badu is still chasing, Memphis is still going, through to Carlos Baca, it has to be two, and it's off the post. We're struggling to get our second goal, it's a tense game, it could still go either way. That's a lovely ball through, and it's Donnarumma who makes an incredible save, it was offside either way, but still. Isilio, back into Honda, Honda cutting inside, through to Carlos Baca, lovely pass by Honda, back into him, it's Honda, it's 2-0! Kaisuke Honda doubles the lead for AC Milan. After some good interchanging play between him and Carlos Baca. And that should be game set and match. That's got to be a sending off. Gomez. Gustavo Gomez gets a second book in. After a rash challenge. And suddenly it's game on again. On that. Through to Memphis. Memphis takes a good touch inside. Memphis. 
given space. Carlos Baca makes that run forward. It's Carlos Baca to make it three. It's saved. And Holma can't get power behind that shot. Carlos Baca is struggling to score this season. And that's the final whistle. We win 2-0. A good, good, solid performance. 2-0. You know, a clean sheet. I can't really complain too much. There you can see the end game match facts. We dominated the uh, Udinese very slightly on possession. We had more chances than them. It was a deserved win. A man of the match. Even though he missed quite a few opportunities, he got an assist and a goal from the penalty spots. Carlos Baca gets a 9.1. For the game against Sampdoria, we're going to take a look at the scouting updates that we have received. I'm not interested in international management. Are there a few good potential players in here? France was not a success. Moving on to uh, the next one. Birmich, or Mirmich, sorry, has brought back this guy, Mattia Costa. 73 to 94 potential, 6 foot tall. He's going to get signed up straight away. Uh, Lorenzo Ferrari as well looks decent to be fair to him 93 potential and that's going to be it from Italy potentially Valerio Colombo but I'm going to wait with him moving on to the final scouting update is from Brazil and this guy Kleber Menezes that, that's the one that is by far the highest potential player I've seen so far 81 to 94 get in the club as well as Carlos Linz who got, who's got a 94 maximum potential. It looking good, good, a good month from the scouts. Credit to them. For the game in Sampdoria, we're rocking up with this lineup. Uh, Donnarumma, Ennet, Decilio, Romagnoli, Paletta and Abate in the centre-back positions. Gomez is suspended. Kuchka, Bravadura, Sosa in the midfield. No changes there. And the Pai, Baca and Suso remain. Our deadly front three up front who have, well, scored enough goals to warrant their place in the starting eleven. Away from home against Sampdoria, can we end today's episode with a win? We are currently first, joined first with Roma and Lazio. Sampdoria are struggling with only two draws. They haven't managed to pick up a win yet. So we're expected to win this game. And, I'll t I, and I'd say if we win today's game, uh, as well as the win against Udinese and the draw against Napoli, we've had a good episode today. But we, before we can say we had a good episode, we have to beat this team. Baka through to uh, Memphis. He's going to get there. Memphis the pie chips the keeper and it's a brilliant goal by Memphis the pie to give Milan an early lead is first in Milan service. Could this be the moment for Memphis where he finally starts to unleash his powers onto our opposition? Carlos Baca with yet another assist. So Baca may not be scoring the goals. He's setting them up. A lovely finish by Memphis. The little dink over the keeper. Milan take an early lead. Oh, the ball through to Quagliarella, and he's not going to miss from there. We've let them back into the game again too easily. Fabio Quagliarella makes it 1-1. Step it up, boys. Come on, seriously. Another corner coming in. Carlos. No, no, no. I, why did I say Carlos? I was supposed to scream at Donnarumma for coming out and getting there, and I shouted Carlos. Well, anyways, um, we've conceded. <laughs> it's not looking good. To be fair to Donnarumma, I'm not blaming him because... The corner before this one, he saved us, and before the corner was given away, he saved us as well. He made two great saves before this goal happened, so we just are too poor defensively to keep them out at the moment. Maybe it's the lack of Gustavo Gomez in the side that costs us, but I'm not happy with how things are going. Maybe a response straight away would be nice. Abate, he tried it. It's a header, and it's saved. Now through to Carlos Baca, this has to be the one. Carlos, lovely turn, and it's Baca, 2-2, back in the game. Come on, Milan. Carlos Baca, lovely composure in the box. He didn't rush his shot. He didn't take it on his weak foot. He cut inside on the defender just in time. This was his Sosa with the assist, but lovely work from Baca. And we're back on level terms. This is the only game so far where we've been bossed on possession by the opposition. Sampdoria created a lot of chances as well, more than double of what we got. Donnarumma was excellent. There wasn't much he could do about the two goals, he kept us in it at times, so I'm making a double change, very necessary. Lozano and Honda coming on for Sosa and Suso. Unfortunately, they didn't have a good impact in this first half, and on Honda when he came on last time was incredible. Lozano has got some pace to burn on the counter-attack. Lozano already picked up an injury, we're five minutes into the second half. Jesus Christ. Honda now, using his, uh, his body to try and find this man in space. We've... Well, why didn't you take that? Whoever that was should have taken it. It's Kuchka now. Kuchka hits it. Oh my days! What a goal by Kuchka! His second of today's episode. And what a strike that was. By far the best goal we've scored this season. Without a shadow of a doubt. He takes a touch. He drops the ball dead. And then shoots. Top corner. No way Viviano is saving that. The confidence by Kuchka. 
to pull that off is incredible. Milan retake the lead. Bonaventura. Kuchka has been so far the best player this episode, the most consistent. On that into Baka, Baka into Kuchka. Kuchka's gonna fancy his chances again, and Kuchka scores yet another screamer. What the hell is going on? It's 4 2. Not even. It's, there's still half an hour to play, and it's 4 2. Goals galore, and Kuchka. Kuchka? Who are you? Where do you come from? And please have children that sign for AC Milan. Baka spreading it to Memphis. Memphis turns his man nicely. Memphis inside to Baka. Baka has to make it five. And it is 5-2 for AC Milan. Baka adds yet another to his tally. And this time it looks like he's finally off the mark. It took him a while to get his first goal. But since then he hasn't looked back. Memphis gets the assist this time. And don't forget guys, I am playing on legendary five minute halves. Maybe I should shorten the halves to four minutes. So there's less goals and more realistic. Let me know in the comments down below. But... This game has been by far our best. It's going to be a ball whipped in by Bonaventura. It's a good one. Honda, Honda wins the header and it's over. And that's the end of the game. Milan wins sick note 5-2 away from home against Sampdoria in what has been a masterclass performance. Especially that second half. We always seem to do better in the second half. And look at the stats. Sampdoria actually had more chances than shots and possession. But... For some reason, we put everything away that came near us. Carlos Baca gets a 10 rating. Two goals, two assists. Oh, my days. I thought it was going to be clear who got mad at the match. I was going to give it to Kuchka. But then you look at Baca's stats, and it's kind of hard. But Kuchka scored two goals from the CDM, from the central defensive midfield position. 9 out of 10 passes, 12 out of 12 for Baca. Oh, my days. I'm actually struggling. He had the most tackles as well, Kuchka. I'm going to let you guys vote for man of the match. Carlos Baca or Juraj Kuchka for this game. Brilliant performance all round, though, from the entire team. All right, guys, as you can see, we're currently second in the league with a game in hand on Roma. Uh, Lazio, Roma, and ourselves are still battling for that top spot. I think I'm going to bump it down to four minute halves instead of five because this was just too much. It was a little bit too much uh, goals in it for me, especially for Italian football. But yeah, let's take a quick look at the score report as well. This has been a good episode. I hope you enjoyed it. I want to thank you all for watching and I'll see you all later.